Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is morning prayer. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Brightness of the Father's glory, springing from eternal light, source of light by light engendered, day enlightening every day. In your everlasting radiance, shine upon us, Christ, true Son, bringing life to mind and body through the Holy Spirit's power. Father of unfading glory, rich in grace and strong to save, hear our prayers and come to save us, keep us far from sinful ways. Dawn is drawing ever nearer, dawn that brings us all we seek, Son who dwells within the Father, Father uttering one word. Glory to the God, the Father. Glory to his Holy Son. Glory now and through all ages to the Spirit Advocate. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their lie and their mouths, rather. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those who protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, all justice and goodness comes from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice, so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the church and in Christ. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer.
We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are for you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give thanks and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord's voice the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders in his temple. They all cry, Glory! And the Lord sat enthroned over the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You live forever, Lord and King. All things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against the evil that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. Adore the Lord in his holy court. A reading from Hebrews chapter 13. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day and night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray, Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth and holiness under the direction of our pastors. We pattern our prayer on the prayer of Christ our Lord and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you gave us St. Padre Pio, the spirit of truth and love, to shepherd your people. May we honor him, learn from his example, and be helped by his prayers. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.